So, I decided to show you the box that you've probably seen in our greenhouse videos. Some of you have probably already got it figured out because you have some of these yourself. But this is a black soldier fly bin. We raise black soldier flies to supplement our chicken feed cost. And this is where we do it. We have a brewery that is relatively close to us and we are able to get the spent grain for free from them and we feed that to the black soldier flies and also to our chickens. Uh, this particular bin I was watching a gentleman on YouTube and I'll try and remember to link to his channel in an iCard here Northwest Red Worms and he has some fantastic videos on raising black soldier fly larva. I really liked his videos and he sells a set of plans on his website on how to build this thing. I appreciated all the work and effort that he put into the black soldier fly videos for us so I went ahead and bought those plans and built it and here it is. So let me move this camera just a little bit closer and show you the inside. All right, now this is the inside of the bin. We put a little bit of sawdust in the bottom of it, and that's to keep them from burrowing out through the bottom where the drain holes are at, and we put the food over the top of it. This bin is just getting started for the year, but you can see the, the larvae in here. These guys get ready to pupate to change into an adult fly and they will self-harvest. They go up the ramps and there's one on each side. Try to move this slow so I don't make anybody sick. They go up those ramps and they plop down into a little catch bin. And let me move you and show you that. Alright, here's the ramp. There's a little hole that they fall through and they drop down into the bin and they're not moving much it's kind of cool out here this morning but I can take this throw a few of them into a bucket with sawdust in it for them to change into the fly and the rest of them go out to the chickens and they absolutely love them. You can feed these larvae a lot of different things we use the spent grain which we get for free they will eat coffee grinds uh, some of the Starbucks or the coffee joints will let you have those coffee grinds for free. You can use uh, food scraps, like from a restaurant or something that throw them out. Ask them to set them aside for you, and you can give those to your larva. Every hundred pounds of food that you provide them with, you're going to get about 20 pounds of these larvae. And they're really high in fat, they're really high in protein, and they're good for your chickens. Now the reason that we put these guys in the greenhouse is it just allows us to have them a little bit longer. I can get started sooner in the springtime because the temperatures are higher in here. There's a lot of them in there. That is fantastic. But the temperatures are conducive for them quicker out here in the greenhouse and I can have them a little bit longer because of course it's going to stay warmer in the fall. Okay, just real quick, uh, why black soldier fly larva over like worms or any of the other different bugs that you can feed to your chicken. What was appealing to me here is truly they're pretty low maintenance. All I need to do is put food in here for them, make sure that there is moisture for them to get a drink with, and I serve that purpose with my wet barley and uh, the grains from the brewery. It's already wet, so there's already moisture in it. And they self-harvest. I don't have to go through here and separate the larva from the media. They do that all on their own. So all I need to do is give them food, make sure it is wet, which it is, so they can get their moisture, and harvest the larva every couple of days. I don't have to build any fancy screens to remove the frass and the uneaten portion 
of the grains. It all stays in the bin and the food for the chicken comes out. It is pretty easy to maintain. It takes just a minute a day. Yeah, it takes longer to walk down to the chicken pen with the, the larva than it does to actually maintain the bin, but you get the point. Doesn't require a whole lot of my time, not much effort, far more time into building the bin, but uh, it, it's simple. I like it, and there you go. Alright folks, thanks for watching the video, and if you ever wanted wondered what this box was, now you know. As always, thanks for watching our video. 